to a more historic building now, an 18th century Gothic tower built high on a hill in south-east London by the widow of a maritime hero. After falling into disrepair for almost 30 years, Seven Drew Castle on Shooter's Hill is finally reopening to the public after a local campaign to save it and money from the Heritage Lottery Fund. Catherine Carpenter has the story. Hidden in the depths of Oxley's Wood, an 18th century Gothic monument to a great life and a great love. It was built in 1784 by the grieving widow of Sir William James and named after his famous sea battle at Seven Droog off the coast of India. There are three floors, a room on each. And this is what we call the Lady James room. And it's such a surprise to come up the stairs and find this. Yeah, most people, they come up the stairs and they sort of walk in and they think, oh, wow, wasn't really expecting this. But yeah, we think this is probably where Lady James brought people to entertain them. So, you know, VIPs and have summer parties and tea parties up here. The room would have been filled with objects that were related to William James' successes and his career. There was his sword, there was um, a model of his ship that he sailed around the seas in. And um, I think it was a way to sort of show off his successes. And a great room for a party. Yeah, exactly. Restoring the folly has also been a labour of love by those determined not to see it sold off to developers. The first time I walked into it after we took the project on, there were 40 or 50 dead pigeons all over the place. It was covered uh, in pigeon droppings. The plaster had fallen off the walls. It was really in a derelict state. So it's going to feel absolutely great to give it back to the public again where it belongs. It takes 86 steps to bring you some 500 feet above sea level right to the top of the castle. But I can tell you the view is worth the wait. It's said on a clear day you can see across seven counties and from this Sunday everyone can enjoy it for a small entrance fee and be part of the Seven Droog love story. Catherine Carpenter, BBC London News.